This is the entrance coming in here. We're going to want a door here. We can't actually add a door to this because it's a generic model. So to create a door and add windows to this curtain system, what we can do is change the actual model. So not the curtain system. We can change it to be a wall instead of a generic model by selecting it, editing in place that in place model again, create tab and come up to family category and parameters. If we select that, this is where we can now change this to be a wall. So let's make this a wall and we'll finish it. So now any wall based families, they can be placed onto this wall. For example, windows and doors. So now if I press DR to create a door, we can place a door on this curtain wall. I'm going to hit escape a few times, but you can see it doesn't actually get rid of the mullions that are in the way of that door. So what we can do is select the curtain system grid. So that's different to the actual curtain system. If I tab through, you can see the dotted lines there. You can add or remove segments of the curtain wall. So if I click on that and I select one of these mullions, you can actually just click on them and it will get rid of them. So I'm going to add and remove segments for all of these curtain grids. I'm going to have to select them all individually, add and remove the segments and then select them. Then when we escape out of that, you can see it's deleted those curtain wall mullions. And there we go. Now we've got a clean glazing face around this door that we've just put in. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials and resources, as well as four hours of ad free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there.